hey guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you for watching today i will be teaching you how i blend in autodesk sketchbook so i will be using two tools today which is the smudge pen as well as the tattoo inker so this first bit will be the smudge pen the point to think about smudge pen is that you adjust the settings of the smudge pad so as you can see this is my setting um the flow and the strength is very low because the smudge pen tends to be a bit harsh and too obvious if you leave, leave it at the default so it's good to adjust the flow and the strength to very very low so i will keep on adjusting this um settings accordingly so sometimes i just the size the flow um, it depends so here i am smudging and smudging and smudging i'm really sorry if this is not a good video i did it in a rush because it's been a while i've done any videos and i really want to do a video but i've been kind of busy so yeah here you go so i am blending and the way to blend is um there are the spiral movements the zigzag the up and down or left and right so i like to use the spiral in a mixture of the other two um but the spiral is more dynamic and this is why i like to use the spiral movement of course at first it's still very very blotchy but it is a process so you do it by layer by layer bit by bit um so again you keep on adjusting the flow the size um, the, the the yeah so you keep on adjusting that so um it is important to um not stick to the same settings for the whole thing because it will be different for um each step because sometimes it should be more um sometimes the blending should be more obvious while at, at times it would be more subtle so here i am blending it in so again um it is a mixture of tools uh as well but this is just a smudge pen i will show you in a bit how i do it together with the tattoo inker okay so again as you can see i keep on adjusting the um the flow sometimes a bit it's a bit too much i redo it just over and over again so this is me um I am okay, I totally just the size and the flow and I'm just I'll be like pulling everything to one side from left to right you'll see in a bit just to show you how it works and how it blends and how it gives a different kind of effect when you do it in such a way so as you can see okay for some girl so now I'm like pulling it all the way and I'm just like dragging it and dragging it and dragging it from left to right okay so that's how you blend uh, so if it's a large surface this is the way if it's a smaller surface um the previous um previous just just, just just now the one i did earlier is the way to go so this is the smudge tool of course there are more options that you can do there is the advanced tool um where you can even pick different brushes and to add more texture to it so a lot of things you can play around so this is pretty much basic so after i do this bit i will be using the tattoo inker i'll be using a different kind of image which i will be coloring building colors um layer upon layer just using the tattoo inker and the smudge tool as well the tattoo inker to me is a great brush i love it but it takes a while to get used to okay sorry for the sudden break i forgot to add this in um what's important when you do the tattoo inker is to adjust the type to synthetic paint there are a few options of the brush selection there's the smudge there's the um, natural blend so choose synthetic paint okay continue on watching and um, uh there's a way to use it um uh when you use a tattoo inker if to build in the colors you just have to have it in one flow if it's like down just keep on going downwards because if you go up and down it will the colors will um fade okay there you go this is me going up and down and the colors are starting to fade the colors will start to fade so this is okay if you want to like there's already like a lot of basic colors at the back and you just want to blend it in but in the beginning if you want to use it you should just use one direction so there you go this is me um, doing um downwards movement and um to color it in so here i chose a basic color uh, okay i'll still be showing you okay so this is how it happens when you go up and down and that's what happens when you just go down so that one is a no no and that one is a yes yes if you get what i mean 
<laughs> okay, so okay, let's go back to coloring. So yeah, color, 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 color. So color, 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 color. So of course, it doesn't have to be just down. It can be up, left, or right. But just one movement. If it's right, just make it to the right. If it's up, just make it to the up. Make it to the up. So yeah, and me, um, I am uh, moving on to a different color, and um, this is when you start doing what you did with the smudge tool. Um, I chose a flow and um, this again the this, this spiral movement as well. Also, because it's round, slightly round, I will follow the flow of the image itself to make it, you know, because it's a curve, I make it a curve to make it um, blend well together with the image itself or not, it will like look weird. So I am now adding a different color to it and this is a fun part um, where I will be trying to blend it in so it doesn't look blotchy. So again, I will be using this tattoo inker and lightly, lightly towards the edge uh, with, the, with I'll, I'll, I'll press the screen with my stylus slightly to let it blend in with the back and then I will be using Yes, I am already using the smudge tool again. Um, so it's a combo of both. Okay, you gotta use both. So when I've already blended it in, I decided to pick the color that has already been blended to again build colors upon it using the tattoo inker. You understand? So um, once you're you work okay, at first, you pick the color that you want, and when you have already blended it. You pick the color that has already been blended to color of it to give it a more smooth kind of um, effect. So the color transition looks more smooth. Yeah, get what I saw, like, I'm trying to say. So next is me adding more colors to the image. I am purposely adding like these colors just to show you how to blend it in. Um, so there is like a turquoise kind of blue and um, I add it to the edges because it is at the edge it is also important that you adjust the um, the size of the brush the flow of the brush so all of this is you have got to keep on changing to make it fit your image that you want to create so you see me adjusting the flow and the strength so then um, again I'll be using the color pickle pickle <laughs> color picker tool to pick the colors to um, color the other play harsh inside the image so I'll be picking the red in a bit as you can see there you go uh-huh so I start coloring the other areas as well again so it looks more smooth and does not look like all of a sudden the color change so yeah um, so the transition looks more smooth blending can get interesting and also very boring at times because like this I am currently blending the colors but you can't really see it because it's like bit by bit so um, I'm uh, using both the smudge and the the, the tattoo inker um, I'm um, going back and forth using those both tools so as you can see I keep on um, color picking um, different parts of the image so it would um, flow better so wow yeah you can see here me okay all right so that was an example of me using the airbrush tool you can see like a sudden push i don't like the airbrush tool i personally don't like it because it looks a bit too smooth and for my taste so this is why i prefer just the brush kind of tools instead of the airbrush so there okay that was my previous um my early on i just tried before doing this video so um, I decided to, after looking at that, I said, oh, okay, I need to add more highlights to this one. So there I am. I didn't really select a white color, but something close to white, but just a lighter value compared to the um, other colors in this um, image. So there, um, I'm adding it to the edges and I'm adding it to the middle bit. I am just tattoo anchoring it um, inside. It's all very subtle, you know. I mean, you just do it bit by bit, and um, that is how you 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 highlight, you blend, and you color it in. Sometimes it's not that obvious, but the end result you can see how it makes a difference. 
so yeah interchanging between the smudge tool and the tattoo inker so here and there i'm dragging it down and it kind of looks about done so that's about it and thank you for watching bye